Okay, uh, hello, welcome anyone and everyone, I'm Echo. Today we're exploring Apollo 3, as you can see, probably from the title of the video. Uh, last week I wasn't able to record anything because, frankly, I didn't, I wasn't in a good mood. And I can't record when I'm in a bad mood because, uh, it's, you know, I mean, it's not like it's hard to record, but... You know, it requires getting into a certain mindset. You know, being interested in talking while playing a video game instead of just playing it like silently. You know, normally, quote unquote. Uh, also, Bloodborne came out last week. And I felt like playing Bloodborne, so I was in a bad mood. Played Bloodborne, got in a good mood. And, uh, so, yeah, now I'm doing this again. Um, don't, <laughs> unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time today to do this because it's late in the day. And I can't remember if Ant meets, yeah, might as well keep, take it, it's decent food enough. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it, it is a bit late in the day right now. So I'm not going to have a lot of time to record, but at least like an hour. So that should be, should be good. Uh, right now, we're doing the Those quest, in which uh, we have to try and find Brian Wilkes' father at the moment. Which, actually, I'm going the wrong way, but it's okay. Because <laughs> I want to look around and find stuff. That's what I do. That's literally the only unique gimmick my channel has. And I'm okay with that. Um, yeah. Anyway. Are they all in that other building? I guess so. Bunch of ants over there. I don't like these ants. Some of them breathe fire. And that's not cool. Like that. Oh, whoops. I should have reloaded. Oh. That did almost no damage. That's one of the ones oh. that breathes fire. Yeah. Uh, um... <laughs> Oh, jeez, I didn't think it would do that little damage. Okay. Well, you know what? This is good enough. Is it not coming through the building? It's gonna go around. God dang it. Good job. You know... The more I play this game, certain little tidbits about it kind of make me wish I was playing Fallout New Vegas instead. Just because, like, like, for example, right now, I'm just fighting fire ants. And, uh, like, in Fallout New Vegas, the enemies are a lot more interesting in that game, by and large. I thought I had this, uh... Oh, it was on three? I thought it... I wasn't on one. It's pretty... Oh, right, because the stupid... The, uh... Not the Uzi. What was it called? Um... 10 millimeter submachine gun. That's it. That's what was on my number one spot. Oh! And that one's a soldier, so that's not gonna do anything. You know what? How much ammo for this do I have? I have a lot of ammo for that, but it's almost broken. I don't want to use that. Okay, I guess uh, Chinese assault rifle works good enough. I can repair it if it gets too low. And aim for the head. Yep. But yeah, um, this game versus Fallout New Vegas is a pretty, like, big deal to a lot of people. I think most people tend to like Fallout New Vegas more. And, uh, I mean, it's funny because it, it, Fallout New Vegas does do a lot of things better than this, like the writing 
It has a larger selection of weapons. Uh, you know, there's a higher max level, stuff like that. You know, it does a lot of things, like, objectively better. Well, not objectively. But according to common beliefs of what is objectively better, it's objectively better to most people. Uh, but this game, on the whole, I, it, you know, I still kind of like this game more because it just feels like it has a stronger atmosphere. It's got, uh, you know, it's, it's got a more post-apocalyptic feel to it. So I kind of like this one more. But when I get into moments like these, like those, the, the, the quest I'm doing now, I'll call those, uh, those is... One of just the worst quests in the entire game. I can't stand it. It's just not fun. It's just really not fun. And uh, this is their house, so I'm gonna go in here real quick and try to. Yeah. And uh, ironically, oh yeah, that's uh, that's his dad, Shaki. Maybe I shouldn't have taken that. Oops. Um. Uh, ironically, his dad, it, the, the kid mentioned earlier that his dad had a gun that was supposed to be really good at killing the ants, and there's a few <sighs> inconsistencies. First of all, there's a ton of ammo on this shelf, okay? Uh, he should have had enough ammo to kill all the ants, and stay alive. I mean, he has unused ammo. Okay? Secondly, there are a bunch of dead ants. So, obviously, it's supposed to be that he killed these ants in particular before he died, but then where did the ants that killed him go? Did they open the front door and leave? I don't know. It doesn't make much sense. But also, in particular, uh, he's right there. The gun he supposedly used to kill ants is over there. How to get up on the shelf. Ah, it's those little bits of uh, attention to did bleh. speak bloody English. It's those little bits of attention to detail that uh, I really enjoy picking out in games. Dark Souls kind of taught me to do that, and now I try to, you know, look for those in every game I play, and it's it's hard. It's, it's pretty hard, because most games don't bother to put in small details like that, and, you know, or, or when they do, it's often just told to you, you know, like through exposition or backstory and stuff and such. So anyway, now we gotta talk to the kid and Is there any food in here? tell him his dad's dead. Laugh in his face I about it. Have good news for me. Nope. Come on, tell me already. I think I have some bad news for you. Oh no. What happened? Sorry about your father's dad. Your father's dad. Sorry, kid. Your old man is hand food. <laughs> you, you know what you are? You're a big asshole. That's right, an asshole. <laughs> My papa said never to say that word, but you deserve it. Now what am I going to do? My papa's dead. Poor papa. Sorry, I don't like this kid. <laughs> um, uh, I just forget if I can clear on out of here. Um, I know there's like a second half to this quest where we have to go to stupid underground metro and kill some more ants. And I. That's the part of this quest that really annoys me. So I could probably skip it, but it means more experience if we do it. And so, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, yeah. You gotta I'll, stop it! So this can't happen to anyone else's family ever again! I'll take care of I wish I yeah. had met you a long time ago. Then maybe my dad would still be alive. Nope. I'd probably have killed him. Uh, I don't want to know about the other people who live here. If I you look go. around and nothing... Remove the source of the fire ants. Yep. That's what I'll do. Now, this is the part where the game gets 
a little bit annoying because it doesn't give you a quest marker and like that's not always a bad thing but the game it, 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 this is the problem that I have with all the Fallout games including New Vegas because New Vegas does it occasionally um, and also like the Elder Scrolls games they're so reliant on quest markers where they always tell you the exact pinpoint location to go. And there's never any confusion about it. You just follow the quest marker and you know exactly where to go. Uh, and because they make the player so reliant on those quest markers, why can't I freaking jump onto here? Gee, thank you. <sighs> They're so reliant on the quest markers, and of course I just walk off. That when a quest like this comes along that doesn't give you a quest marker. What the hell is that? There's nobody down there? Okay, I'm gonna walk down there and see what that is. I've never seen that before. <sighs> I need to stop interrupting myself. The game's so reliant on quest markers that when you find a quest marker, or when you get to a quest that doesn't give you a quest marker, uh, it becomes exponentially harder. Because you're, you're used to being, you are accustomed to being told where to go by the game. That not knowing where to go, you know, suddenly becomes its own uh, challenge. And that's part, not the only reason, but that's part of the reason that I don't like the those quests. Because this uh, second half of it doesn't give you a quest marker. And, like, if all the quests didn't give you quest markers, then it would be fine. It would be no different from the rest of the quests in the game. You'd have to just figure out where to go. You'd have to listen to, uh, what the... Okay, you know what? It's not worth it. You'd have to listen to what the NPCs say and how they describe the places that you have to go, and then you'd go out there and find it. And you'd get used to that, and you'd do it often enough that it'd be, you know, normal. But you can't, because the game normally gives you quest markers. So, yeah, I mean, it's not it's not that big a deal, I guess. But it just annoys me. I like consistency, that's the thing. I want my games to be consistent. And uh, right now I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction to do the quest. I'm just kind of wandering around. I'm seeing interesting stuff, I'm going and staring at it, and there's a friendly NPC over here, so that's good news. And, uh, back to the trucks usually don't have very good stuff in them, but... I don't know. Anyway. So yeah, you know, and, like, I'm playing Bloodborne right now. I'm... somewhere in the middle of it, I guess. And that game doesn't tell you where to go. It doesn't give you quest markers. You just talk to NPCs the whole time, and NPCs will say, Oh, hey, have you heard of Bergenworth? It's this really rad place. You just... It's got crazy stuff over there. And then you're like, Oh, okay, so I know there's a place called Bergenworth that's got some crazy stuff. And then eventually you stumble across Bergenworth and... There you go. You know what to expect. And all this stuff... Okay. Hey there! Yeah, hi. Uh... If the price is right. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's... It's complicated. You know. And also, most games... Uh, what... Like, I know... There are some games, or... Some singular quests in games like this or like Elder Scrolls. Ugh, sorry, I had a burp. Anyway, you know, I know there's some games that uh, do do that, where they don't give you the the you know quest markers and instead they give you clues on where to go. You know, you have to talk to the NPCs or you have to, you know, read signs or whatever. Uh, Legend of Zelda does that as well. Um, but in most of those, it's either, again, inconsistent, like in this and Elder Scrolls, 
uh, which, you know, makes it annoying and kind of unnecessarily confusing. Or, uh, sometimes, just frankly, the, uh, you know, directions aren't good enough. You know, giving a, a player a vague description of, oh, go north. It's like, okay, great. If the player goes north, but accidentally goes north at a bit of an angle, and then they miss the thing, you know, that's, you know, that can cause problems. You know, if the map is designed correctly, then go north can sometimes be uh, a perfectly apt description. But, you know, not always. So, anyway, I'm, I'm rambling. Just rambling, that's all I do. Okay, I don't want any of those. Don't, don't want those. Miss, mi miscellaneous ammo, 32. I want all the 32s. I want all the, those. Don't want those. And, uh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna, just because I want the money more than I want the frag grenades, so I'm just gonna sell a couple of those. Two more? Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, that's good. Great. Awesome. Leave her with nothing. Thanks. Yep. Later. Bye. Um. Yeah, she's got dogs. I want. To... Oh no. This doesn't have much that actually interests me. It's really just that one ammo box. Because there's nothing... Scrap metal. Uh, this thing. I forget what it's called. First aid box, yeah. Hello. doesn't have much that interests me. So, I won't waste the ammo to kill her, I guess. 